Hi folks, I am James from Roland with Dan at GAK today having a look at the GC1 Roland Fender Strat and the GR55 guitar synth. First up the GC1, it's a uh, Fender Strat, you know them, you love them. Uh, on these particular models we have an American neck and tuners, Mexican body, um, standard uh, magnetic pickups which actually sound great on this model but what makes this special is that we have a built-in GK3 pickup needed to talk to the guitar synth, as well as all the necessary controls to give you, you know, ultimate flexibility right from the guitar. So, in terms of the controls, it's a strap. We've got the typical five-way selector, volume and tone control for the magnetic pickups. But then when we get down to the front end of things, we have control over the uh, master volume of the GL55, or you, although you can actually assign pretty much any parameter to this control. Uh, we've got uh, this three-way toggle, which gives us the option to uh, switch between straight up synth, straight up guitar or a mixture of the two and we've got uh, again two bonus controls which are standard we set just for scrolling through patches but again we can assign you know within reason any parameter to. So onto the uh, the miracle box itself the GR55 guitar synth. Now first up I should point out that the you know the phrase guitar synth is a a little misleading. We like to think of it more as being uh, an audio workstation. Uh, effectively, you put in your guitar, because I personally can't play the piano or the oboe, uh, and out comes, you've got up to 910 completely different sounds which you can mix and match to your own needs. The first thing I want to show you is actually what a great sounding guitar multi-effects this is. Now, this is this, there's no synthesizing going on whatsoever at the moment. This is just the sound of the magnetic pickups on the Strat, so let's give it a... Um... Bit of chorus there. Uh, let's go from, you know, what's coming. Your delays, your choruses. Um... kind of a chorus thing going on there. Within reason, you know, you can treat this guy exactly as you would any floor-based multi-effects, but where things get interesting on the guitar side of things is when we bring in guitar modeling. So, uh, forgive me for carrying on with my great tradition of cheese, but if we start off here with a, a Marshall uh, amp model. So this is still just the sound of this guitar. <laughs> Kind of hot for uh, single core pickups already. As I say, this is actually a great sounding guitar in and of its own right. But imagine I want to play something, let's say, slashy. So we'll go with um, Not too bad, but it sounds like a Strat playing through a Marshall, which is kind of what we, we, we've got at the moment. So we, we're sort of winning, but it didn't sound like Slash, who uses a Les Paul down-tuned half a step. Check this out, we're gonna go from the Strat magnetic pickups to the Les Paul model, so we've got... And now Les Paul. You know, straight away we've got all that extra warmth you would find from a Les Paul, plus the alternate tuning. And now we're into the whole realm of synthesized guitar. So we've got Telecasters, Les Pauls, stuff with lipstick pickups, Rickenbackers. And the great thing is you can tune each string up to two octaves in either direction, which gives you control over all manner of amazing different uh, alternate tunings. Uh, let's try something. Uh, let's go here. You know, sticking with a, a humbucker guitar vibe, what we have here is a down tuned baritone thing. Very metal. In this particular instance, on the control pedal, uh, pedal here of 
give myself the option of drop Ding, as it were, that B string to make it a drop A. Which gives us all extra, you know, levels of brutality to plumb. Um, and again, continuing with the modeling tunings kind of vibe, here we've got Telecaster into a Fender amp in uh, open G tuning. Really great sound there. I, personally, I love this. I know I've, I've said I'm the Roland guy, but genuinely, that's a, a, a wicked sound. So, without wanting to bore you too much, in a nutshell, that's what we've got. Amp modeling, effects, and guitar modeling as well. To take this step a little bit further, let's give you a bass. You know, we've got bass amp models in there as well as, I think we have a uh, Fender Precision style basses, a couple of things along those lines. And of course, the old uh, nylon string acoustic. and steel strung acoustics. Now in this particular patch, I've also got that set up so I can 12 string it. But, you know, the cool thing about this control pedal is you can assign any number of different parameters to it to suit. Okay, so that's guitar, but you're all guitarists, so you know how that works. What we're gonna get into now is all of the stuff that guitar doesn't do. Um, and rather than bang on in this ridiculous brummy accent I've been cursed with, uh, I'm just gonna play you a bunch of different things to give you just a small overview of the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sounds possible with this uh, unit.
One thing I should definitely mention is that all of the sounds can actually be a combination of up to four different elements. You've got two synth elements where all your pianos and violins and whatever you can dream of come from. You've got the guitar model element and you've also got the uh, magnetic pickups of your guitar in there as well. The great thing about this is if you combine them all, you can actually set, uh, allocate different volumes and panning for each element. So you can actually assign them to different strings. So for example, with this particular sound on the bottom two strings, I have a, a kind of chorusy bass there. And the middle G on the G string there, I've got this. But on the skinny two strings, the E and the B, Again, a completely different kind of element. So, you know, on stage, that gives you all kinds of flexibility rather than having to tap dance between patches to get everything you need on one guitar, one set of guitar strings. Okay, guys, that's just uh, the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with this. You can also use it uh, as a USB interface direct with your computer for recording. You can take just the guitar models and put them out to your guitar rig and then send the synth elements to the PA for all kinds of extra you know, wacky soundscapes right there on the stage or in the studio. Um, best thing you could possibly do is get down to GAK and one of the helpful guys there, and very handsome of course, will give you uh, all the time you need to get to grips with this fella and see just what it's capable of. Be sure to check out roland.co.uk forward slash blog forward slash vguitar cashback as we've got a deal up until Christmas whereby any one of these you buy, be it the standalone or the one with the GK pickup in the box, you'll get £55 off and there's £100 cashback on the GC1 guitar as well.